Hello, I'm the inventor of this homemade hovercraft, and a lot of you on YouTube have asked me, how do I make the skirt? Okay, well, it's really difficult for me to explain, so I think is what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a short video here, and I'll just show you step by step how I make it from cutting the patterns to the type of material to sewing, and actually how it fastens to the hull. So, here we go. This is your hovercraft skirt material. This is a 6 ounce nylon, it's a urethane coated nylon, 6 ounces. Uh, you notice one side, one side here is all shiny, and the other side is kind of dull. You want your shiny side on the outside, that's your water repellent, your, your uh, neoprene coat. Okay, here we so are. I have the patterns laid out. I'm going to show you this pattern. This, this pattern right here, this is the top. Okay, you notice there's a little notch here, and uh, this, this is a tab. This is how you attach it to the top rail in the hovercraft, this here being the bottom. Now, what I've done is I've just traced these out onto the fabric, of course trying to keep it the pattern as tight as possible so that when you cut it out you, you have as little waste as possible. Okay, I've got the patterns cut out, and as you can see you have your dull side, your shiny side, and since when you sew these, you sew them inside out, you want the outsides to be together as such, and then you can stitch this together. So let's go ahead and get this started. Okay. Now, the next step in this process, to grab it here in the center, I'm going to turn this thing inside out. Okay, we're now at the bottom corner. At the bottom corner, you're going to need a small piece of nylon webbing or rope. You can even take the material itself and fold it up several times, stitch it, and make yourself, you know, a piece of webbing. This is where it attaches to the lower hull. And in this case, you're going to need a loop here. Because when you reach that point, you're going to end up zip tying this to loops that are on the bottom of the hovercraft to hold it on in place. Now, okay, we're coming up on the other corner. Once again. You're going to want to get your piece of webbing ready. And then we will continue on around to the top half. Okay, after you have the whole outside double stitched, don't know if you can see that, but there's double stitching all around the outer edge. Your lower ties are in place. You have your middle seam. You're going to want to double stitch that, and remembering that this tab here is the top, the holes in the side of your hovercraft air will be coming in this way, and you want it to be able to flow freely over this seam. You don't want it facing the other way where the air is going to snag into it, and it causes wind resistance. So, go ahead and get this stitch. As I tried to show you earlier, I was trying to show the shape of this, but now that I've moved the camera back a little, you can see. This part here, being the tab that you attach to the top of the hole, this is the outer edge here, this is the bottom where it touches the ground, and this is what attaches to the bottom of your hole here. That's a complete finger this right there. These right here are loops. These are for zip tying the bottoms of your fingers to. I don't know if you can see this or not. But there's one right there that's zip tied in. The next one will come over and it'll zip tie down here. 
The tops of these are held on with a little pushover spring clip. That would be right, this right on, here. New finger. Now let's just say that this finger here got damaged, ripped, became garbage. Okay, so we're going to replace it. You're going to pull your trim off. And right here you have a quarter inch by half inch of aluminum channel iron track. It's been screwed to the hole with stainless steel screws. Okay. So we're going to want to replace this. Okay. First things first, put your finger in place. Get it centered. I'm going to take these clips. Real easy to put on. You just push it over there. I use three clips. A lot of uh, guys will only use two. Just make sure they're tapped down nice and neat like. Alright, here we go. Zip, zip tight. Through this loop. See if I can get out of the light. There we go. Zip tight in place. And that's how your finger attaches. And they attach just like that. You're going to want to have one zip tie per each finger in case you get snagged that that zip tie will break and save your finger from getting damaged. And that is how that is done. And of course you're going to take your, your trim. You push, just push your trim back down over your fingers as such and you're done. Okay, I hope this has been a good instructional video. And uh, I don't know what else to tell you about this. You can make, you know, this is just one type of skirt. Uh, this is how I did it. I'm not a professional, so I'm not saying this is how the professionals do this. This is how I made my fingers for my hovercraft, and this is what seemed to work for me. So hopefully this has helped you. And... You have a great day. Thank you.